This is the CIS Controls presentation on malware defenses. It's control number 10 uh, from the National Cybersecurity Center. Quick explainer on the controls and implementation groups. So your control number 10 uh, has seven safeguards. So what order should I look at those safeguards in, in terms of implementing them if I'm starting at ground zero? Um, you start with implementation group one, then move to two, then move to three. Implementation group one is your basic cyber hygiene, according to the Center for Internet Security. Um, and then in addition, all these implementation groups are mapped, um, all of the safeguards are mapped to NIST CSF, identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. All right, let's look at a definition. Prevent or control the installation, spread, and execution of malicious applications, code, or scripts on enterprise assets. So what are you gonna to do to protect against malware? Why is it critical? Well, this is a pretty easy answer here. Malware is the number one type of attack against any system. This is according to the Verizon Data Breach Incident Report um, that's done on a yearly basis. Malware and ransomware are the top two threats to your organization, um, and that's across different types of organizations, government, small business, large enterprise. Uh, so the way that malware gets into your system, uh, they find a weak point, get in, and then the way that the malware is written is it spreads throughout um, different elements of your network. And the easiest way for them to get in is for um, them to exploit human errors or human weakness. Um, so the way that uh, you know they can get you there is a phishing campaign. They, you end up clicking on a phishing link that downloads the malware automatically and kind of hides in the background. Um, but it relies on insecure end user behavior to find an entry point. Looking through the implementation groups here. So IG1, having an anti-malware software, uh, updating that software for new anti-malware signatures. And um, when you uh, implementation or safeguard number three here, 10.3 um, auto execute would be, all right, I plug in my USB and it automatically executes whatever I just plugged in. As an example, you want to disable that so that you'd be able to have a little second chance there against a program auto running or auto playing for any removable media. IG2, you want to uh, configure an automatic scanning of the removal, removable media, enable some other features, uh, and then have a way to centrally manage your anti-malware software and uh, have that software use behavior-based strategies. Key concepts here, um, you want to use some type of malware prevention and detection suite um, that can be done in a, a bunch of different ways, um, but then centrally collecting the logs um, from your anti-malware defenses to support alerting, identification, and incident response.